How did dinosaurs hunt? Welcome to the natural history of dinosaurs. My name is Benjamin Berger. I'm a paleontologist at Utah State University teaching in the heart of Utah's dinosaur country in Vernal. In this video we look at the adaptations of carnivorous theropod dinosaurs. How good were they in catching and devouring prey? The first major adaptation has to be found in the sharp serrated teeth that we see in most carnivorous theropod dinosaurs. The teeth of both Tyrannosaurus and Velociraptor are angled backward like a hook. This curve in the profile of the tooth would prevent the prey from slipping out of the smashing jaws, forcing the food to fall into the gullet of the dinosaur rather than slipping up the front of the mouth. The teeth were also equipped with tiny serrations or tiny jagged cusps along the narrow edge of the teeth. These serrations acted similarly to steak knives, which have jagged edges to aid in the cutting and sawing through of muscle tissue and tendons. One of the new tools in understanding the bite force of carnivorous dinosaurs is the use of computer modeling, such as finite element modeling that's used to test the structural integrity of the skull with maximum biting forces. Studies of Allosaurus show that the animal had the same bite forces as modern Komodo dragons, with a strong skull built around the forces that are generated when the animal bit into its prey. The skull was overbuilt and able to handle even more force. This is especially useful when the animal bit down against hard bone. Now one interesting thing about these carnivorous dinosaurs is that they did not chew their food. Much like crocodiles and Komodo dragons and even birds, the prey was quickly swallowed whole or in large torn chunks of flesh and bones. Stereoscopic vision, that is where the eyes are positioned so that they overlap the visual fields of the left and right eyes, was well developed in these carnivorous dinosaurs. A stereoscopic visual field is important in animals that hunt because it allows the animals to judge distance better. The further the length away a prey item is, the more similar the image from the left and right eye are. When the prey item is drawn closer, the two images from the left and right eyes differ, and this is processed by the brain as a closer distance for the object. 3D movies trick our left and right eyes into seeing different images, which are processed in our brains as distance. Now, if you look down the nose of the skull of Tyrannosaurus rex, you'll quickly see how the eyes are positioned to look forward, straight at you. Here is a digital scan of the skull of a Tyrannosaurus rex skull by Larry Whitmer and Ryan Ridgely. By removing the bone, we can study the space left by the endocast of the brain of Tyrannosaurus rex. This gray tiny portion is the brain, whereas the hot pink portion is the olfactory bulbs, the part of the brain that's involved in the sense of smell. It was highly developed. In fact, this part of the brain was by far the largest part of the brain of Tyrannosaurus rex. These creatures put a major emphasis on the sense of smell. This would mean that Tyrannosaurus rex could easily sense your presence in the dark and quickly seek out dead or rotting flesh from miles away. Some scavenging birds like turkey vultures have large olfactory bulbs in relationship to the rest of the brain. Tyrannosaurus rex had an excellent sense of smell. Many of the Eumanoraptorans also had nasty claws on their feet. These sickle claws could be held up when running or chasing prey. But when used to subdue prey, it would slash downward and they could grip their victims and slit open the animal from the sides. 
many birds of prey use the same type of claws to disembowel their prey, like hawks, owls, and eagles. All right, now you should be able to discuss the anatomical specializations found in theropods for a carnivorous diet.